2023 was a very special year for me because it's the year I started making content on Clash Mini. And today, I'm going to be walking you guys through my story, how I became one of the biggest Clash Mini creators in one year. Let's begin with January, where I introduced myself to the Clash Mini community via Twitch streams. Let's go, let's burn everything on his board. Burn everything on the board here. Content creation was always on my mind, so I wanted to make myself known within this beautiful Clash Mini community by starting to push a ladder every day. And things started off slowly. One of my first ever stream on Twitch was on the 5th of January, 2023, where we did an hour and 47 stream and the average viewer was one. And this is going to be my motivational part, but with enough hard work, with enough consistency, honestly, anything's possible. Like I didn't believe it myself, but then, you know, once you are in the trenches and you're putting in the work, while nobody's noticing, when nobody, while nobody believes in you, you know, you know you're making serious progress. For my first month, I was streaming daily, daily, and on the 12th of January, we actually did five average viewers. So, you know, we were slowly grinding up, having a consistent stream schedule here from the 16th of 22nd of Jan. We were streaming every day, consistency, ladies and gentlemen hard work, people will not forget that. And after a month of streaming, on the 26th of January, I decided to upload one of my first YouTube videos. And the rest was history. Adder Hailer. Look at that barbarian, look at that barbarian. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <sighs> we all gotta start somewhere, and this was the beginning of something very special. February of 2023 started off really strong when enemy number one, one of the earliest Clash Mini organizations decided to add me to their content creator roster. I'm the shield man here, content creator for enemy number one, and this is me. Name is John C that may get, oh my God, the Mega Knight just jumped out of nowhere, bro. This guy went RKO out of nowhere. Oh, 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 we had a gizmo. I didn't know that. What are we playing here? Are we playing Skarmy Simulator or are we playing Clash Mini? God, chat. Oh my god. That P.E.K.K.A, bro. That P.E.K.K.A is disgusting. Enemy number one has a very special place in my heart because they were the first people who believed in me, who believed in my abilities to make content. And for that, I want to give a huge shout out to Ollie and Sony, one of the earliest founders of Enemy number one and also for putting me in contact and introducing me to what is now my thumbnail artist, Mr. Panda Banda. I'm not afraid to say this, but Panda Banda is the most important person for me in the Clash Mini community. He's been here since day one. As soon as I finally established my own proper content creation philosophy and as soon as I started money, I knew straight away who to contact for my thumbnails and he is one of the few people in my life which I 100% trust. He's a young, very talented thumbnail designer who has always delivered, who went above and beyond to make my graphics, to make my thumbnails, to always, to make my overlays. It's just, it's just incredible. And for that, Panda, because I know you're watching. <laughs> Thank you so much, dude. So the grinding continued and on the 6th of February, I said this. Um, once, all right, the deal, okay, that could be an idea. Once we, once we are official Supercell creators, I'll do a Shield Maiden. Shield Maiden cosplay stream for a week. A week only Shield Maiden cosplay, okay? Once we hit Supercell official creator, okay? So it might, might take a while, might take a while, but you know. Now you may be wondering where's that one week Shield Maiden cosplay stream well, to be quite honest, that's a promise I still haven't hauled up, but it's still in my mind. <laughs> and the reason is because for the past year, and, and this is not me complaining, but, not, but my life has been school, work, content creation, and working out. And there is, and preparing something like that takes a long time. 
and that's just not something that is a priority for me right now, but it will happen. It will happen. And also during that month, one of my first encounter with the Clash Mini Community Manager, Mr. Frame, was this one. Can't. Oh, I didn't place anything, whoops. See, one thing that I really enjoy is that uh, when I play duels, sometimes I just don't place my minis at all in the first two rounds to pretend that I'm AFK. So the opponent just relaxes and doesn't even uh, think that I'm gonna come back. It was by far probably one of the most random clips of me forgetting to place a mini. And, and for me, that was mind blowing for a Clash Mini Community Manager to make, to clip my stream and make content off of that, I was like, what is it? <laughs> During this month, I also had the opportunity to cast some beautiful Clash Mini tournaments with Flacco. Yes, uh, oh. oh my God. <laughs> what? What? What just happened here? <laughs> Bro, get a new chair. And with Spoob. Oh, that tech it, it, it. That, That's my dad with the belt. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm just saying right now, bro, oh this is bring some, this is bring back some repressed memories. <laughs> <laughs> when I touch meat at the store, oh dude, this is really me when I touch meat at the store, he says don't touch it. He starts spanking me, he's like, bro, I just told you to stop! In the store. In the store. In the store, yeah, we're at Costco. And he's like, he's like, don't touch the meat, Chad. And I'm sitting there like, Ugh. I'm like grabbing it, I'm like, I'm like trying to tear up the plastic. He's like, boy, and he hits me over the head. <laughs> And for my first two months, we averaged at eight viewers and we streamed for 134 halberds. But this was only the beginning of a grind that would never end. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Popping visibility. Why is he called let's a go. hospital? We actually win here. Damn, I did not know I could win against Countess. After an intense couple of months on Twitch, I then decided to give more time and to focus more of my effort onto my YouTube videos. I didn't want my videos to just be camera gameplay and one overlay. I wanted to add some spice, learn from the best, and have unique and original YouTube videos. But I never completely gave up on streaming. When there were major tournaments, you know I was ready to cast them. Back in April, not many people were doing YouTube shorts on Clash Mini. And I was like, you know what? Let's give it a shot. The bandit can be very annoying to deal with. Left unattended, she can start stacking supers and wipe out your troops. Here's how to counter her. And these small tutorials, these small best deck videos turned out to be a huge boost in terms of growth for my YouTube channel. I think way too many creators, especially in the Clash Mini scene, sleep on YouTube shorts. Nowadays, and that's going to be even more true in the future, short format content will shine. And if you don't focus on that format, you don't adapt to the environment to the content creation environment, then you're going to be missing out on a lot of visibility, a lot of subscribers, a lot of views, a lot of newer people, because that's the goal here during the beta stages of Clash Mini, is to get to onboard new players. And what better way to do it than with YouTube Shorts? And almost after half a year of grinding with not too many results, Clash Mini shared my first ever YouTube video on their official channel. It was a very special moment for me and it would not stop from here. Exactly half a year after I started my YouTube journey, I hit 500 subscribers on July 15th of 2023. I'll always remember this period. It was during the summer break. I was going 
all in during that vacation on my Clash Mini YouTube channel, posting one video and one short a day. And in 15 days, I doubled my subscriber growth. I have been doing YouTube shorts now for a few months and I would see the results here with one of my first ever YouTube shorts going over 10,000 views, which was an incredible boost for my channel. Here's the best Skeleton King deck to dominate your opponents in Clash Mini. The main strategy is going to be to pair up the Skeleton King with the Royal Ghost. And also a huge accomplishment that we did on the 24th of July was co-hosting with my boy Flacco a stage channel, which was honestly a dream come true. And a couple of days after I hit 1,000 subscribers, one of my biggest accomplishments to this day Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Today is a very special day because, drum roll, I'm now a Supercell content creator. This is the first time in my life I'm kind of going somewhere and accomplishing things that I really truly deeply believe in and enjoy doing. So that takes courage, you know, because you, because early on, especially, you know, with my parents where they saw me, you know, grinding content creation or, you know, uh, staying in my room, not going out and all this, you know, there was some doubts from my parents' side, for also from my side, where it's like, you know, for six, seven months, um, you know, I was, I was growing at a slow pace and, you know, it, it sometimes it felt discouraging, but I never gave up. I got invited to the Creator Rumble, hosted by Full Frontage and sponsored by AMG, which was an incredible event where we finished second place and $100 in the bank. AMG did organize this event and they later onboarded a few Clash Mini Creators. Today we have the number one player in the world. The Clash Mini season has ended and now we have the brand showcasing two decks that I think will work very well this season and it's gonna be- We are three wins away from 3,000 trophies. This is the Countess deck. We've got that tanks, we've got feet, yes units, we've got support units and I'm going to be explaining each three cost mini and how to play them. Now me joining AMG was a no-brainer. They are representing some of the biggest creators on the planet. They are very well present in the mobile gaming industry. And for me, it was a no-brainer to join them, especially because they're the ones organizing the Creator Academy. There has been some pretty good news, pretty good news. Um, first of all, we hit 2,000 subscribers. It's really, really just an amazing journey, and I honestly, I, I can't wait to see what we have in the future. And uh, talking about the future, um, thanks to you guys, um, Supercell has invited me to go to Berlin for the Creator Academy. <laughs> what? 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 Today I'm gonna talk about Probably one of the most life-changing trips I've ever had in my life. The Create Academy in Berlin. I'll never forget the day that I received that, that email address, that email from Supercell, which said, you have been invited to the Create Academy in Berlin. Now at first, I'm not gonna lie, for me this was a scam. There was no way who would invite me. I uh, also never forget the moment where I first walked into the hotel and in front of the elevator, Mr. Full Frontage himself just, just greeted me, which it felt like we knew each other. And it just felt like I meet it like soulmates in a way, just, just meeting new people like Rick probably and he was here for the whole trip and just just an incredible person incredibly down-to-earth guy just he was pretty much very he was very responsible in a way of making me super creator and that's actually an, also a funny story because um, basically um, we were at, at, in a classroom 
over on uh, at the Google headquarters and I think it was the first day, not the second day in the afternoon, he was like, who here doesn't have a creator code? And I was like, Rick, you messing around with me. So I was, I was of course the only one uh, raising my hand because everybody, everybody had one. And I was just this, the small YouTuber, <laughs> the small class. Who, who's this guy, you know? You know, this life changing trip not only helped me become super creator, but this allowed me to have my own creator code. This also allowed me to have early access to the dev build, to the new updates and be amongst the first people in the world to reveal what the new update looks like. I also participated in Mega Minute and showcased this. Heroes will now also be upgradable during the game. They will be appearing in your shop just like minis and you will be able to choose which ability you want to upgrade for a certain amount of elixir. So now you'll be able to use your elixir to upgrade both minis and heroes. Possibilities are endless. Speaking of heroes, now they will all have default positionings when the match starts. Melee heroes will be positioned in front and ranged heroes at the back. You will only be able to move your hero once per game, so use it wisely. Rumble is also receiving a few changes. You'll be able to play this game mode after unlocking two heroes and 10 minis. There will now be four players participating in a rumble instead of six you're still going to be able to draft your favorite heroes and minis, which you have unlocked. And now here we are, December 31st, 2023. Next year is going to be absolutely wild because this could very well be the year where Clash Mini goes global or gets killed. I have never been this confident in my ability to succeed, to be the best, and maybe to finish next year by being the biggest Clash Mini creator. I'm not afraid to say that. I'm not afraid to say that. So I wanted to thank you all for watching this year 2023 review. An incredible year. And for 2024, the only wish that I have is for Clash Me to go global. Have a great year, everyone. Also, thank you guys so much for 3,000 subscribers.